Okay, in this next lesson here, we are going to create a pottery stamp. And in this situation, we're focusing more on the measurements that are required to make the stamp the correct size. So first it's gonna have us create the stamp base. So you can see here, it says we're gonna create a platform um, with a simple box with very specific dimensions, meaning exact measurements. And you can see a picture on the left here of what we want it to look like when we're finished. So the first direction is to drag a cube or a box on the work plane and size it to be 50 millimeters long, 10 millimeters wide, and three millimeters tall. So we drag over our box and we click in the bottom right uh, square and we can click in this measurement box and we are gonna type in 50 for 50 millimeters and we know it's millimeters because down here it tells us our snap grid is in millimeters and then over here we want our width to be 10 millimeters so we type in 10 i know it's a little hard to see behind this box here so i can click that up so you can see it better and then to do the height in terms of tall we click on this top white box here and we type in it says it wants us to make it three millimeters so we type in three and hit enter and now our shape is the correct size now if we scroll down it says to select the shape and use the inspector window which is this to select what color we would like so i want to make it yellow so we click yellow and now it says we can continue to the next lesson so we keep moving it says now we're going to add the outer ring we give it a moment to think here it saves our progress and now it tells us down here that to make this shape we're going to drag a tube onto the work plane and give it specific dimensions of eight millimeters on each side and two millimeters tall so over here on the right we need to find the shape that is the tube now that is the torus which is a circle this one is the tube it has a little bit more square edges so we drag over this one we click on the right corner. We're gonna move this window so we can see better. And it tells us we wanna make this eight millimeters by eight millimeters. And then the height, top square here, is going to be two millimeters. Okay, now it says to continue to the next step. Now it says to do the same thing, drag a tube, but this time we're gonna make it five millimeters wide and two millimeters tall. So we type five, five, and two millimeters tall. Okay, so now we have two tubes, and then it says to continue to the next step. So now it says that we need to drag a cylinder onto the work plane. So if we scroll up back to our cylinder here, drag our cylinder onto the work plane, and it says to make it two by two by two. That's easy to remember. So two by two by two. Now it says to continue to the next step. So here it has us where we want to align all three shapes together. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna click and drag to highlight all three shapes. And then we click our align tool and we wanna align them all three together. So we click middle and middle. And if we zoom in, you can see, whoop, let's use our little view tool here, that they're all perfectly lined up and they look like a little bullseye. And that's exactly what we want. So we're gonna group them together which is actually what our next step is now that we have aligned them. And now we move on. Now it says to move the rings to the base. So we click continue, let it think, it saves our work. And now it says that we need to lift the ring up three millimeters tall off of the base so that we can put it on top of our um, base here. So actually the easiest thing to do is if we zoom in around this shape here, and drag our work plane and drop it right on top of our base and then zoom back out, click on our tube shape and hit the button D, it drops it directly to the work plane. So now it should be sitting directly on top of our shape. So now we can actually drag it over here and you can see that it's sitting on top. And so our directions over here, we've kind of gone ahead of them. You can see that we're now sitting on top like it told us to but it wants us to align it so that it's a certain distance away from the edge. And it says to use the arrow key three times to make sure it's um, three millimeters away. So now we drop our work plane back on the ground here so that we can see our shape. And we highlight both shapes 
by selecting both, use our align tool, and we want to center it to this one. We're going to actually align it to the left here, so it's all the way lined up on the edge. And I'm going to click off it for a second. And it tells us it wants it three millimeters to the right, so we click our right arrow button one, two, three times. And now you can see if you click off it that it is aligned nicely in the middle here. So we click over to the next. Now it says to duplicate our pattern and keep adding them to the top of our shape. So if we click on our pattern here and we do control C, control V, we can use our right arrow and scoot it over. One, two, three, control C, control V, scoot it over. One, two, three, control C, control V, scoot it over. One, two, three. Now I have four, they have five. We could scoot them closer to each other. That's okay, we could do that too. Um, but it doesn't really matter in this situation because we're just practicing making stamps. So then the next thing that you're gonna do is to make um, your own type of stamp. So you're gonna use what we just did and either make it around a cylinder or make it on another base just like this. And since we haven't grouped these together, I could really just do Control C, Control V. And then I have another base that I could be working with over here. So what you should have by the time you're done is at least um, two stamps, one, two, or one, two. You should have a cylinder and um, a flat base or two flat bases so that you can have different shapes. And you can drag over instead of doing the bullseye, you could do something like um, a star. You could drag over a star and do that. Or you could do a heart. It's up to you, whatever you would like. Good luck.